strength. What do you think is your strength as an actress? Please share with us. So when while growing up, especially I mean in my uh, generation, I was very fond of these Disney films and fairy tales, and and our well-meaning parents only made us read these. fairy tales where like cinderella for example how prince charming saves her from all the misery and then she lives happily ever after it's a very nice fairy tale but it is also very problematic in in a lot of ways like if you keep believing that and you live your life like that then you will always be dependent on somebody so it's very important for a girl to find that strength inside her and change her mindset from waiting for a prince charming to save her to actually questioning things and then making that change herself taking some kind of an action and that is how i think we girls get stronger so it is very important for us to be a little more grandfather's birthday my fans wished him before i did they made video edits of my pictures with him pictures that i haven't even seen they had i mean like really old pictures and they made those edits and i was so touched so firstly i am so 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 grateful to all the people who have supported me like that and uh, that is i mean i am my heart is full and that is what i want to do for the rest of my life i want to act and i want to make people feel the emotions that my character is feeling and i want this love that i get through all of you so i'm very grateful to all of you thank you you're a little more aware and realize that this is very good as a fairy tale but we are living in this reality where we need to take action and it good also to if you want to depend on people you can but it should be a choice on you it should not be a need that I can't do this on my own, and I'll have to take your help. No, you should be able to help yourself. But if other people are willing to help you, then it's a good thing. Only like you feel good that they want to help you, but you feel self-sufficient on your own, and then you take their help. So that is what I think is very important. We need to be stronger in terms of being self-sufficient. Thank you, Kanika, for your time. Last but not the least, message for your fans. You have a big fan following in Kenya and worldwide. Anything you would like to tell them? Ah. Uh, Okay so to all my fans who are listening uh I firstly I'm so grateful for all the love I can't even I never thought I would receive so much love I I mean so it's so like yes it was 85th birthday uh yesterday so hum abhi bhi we are traveling uh so she's somebody who loves traveling then I love uh writing a lot i have i have started my own podcast on youtube wow. uh so basically i write poetry and then i recite it so sometimes i do that i love reading i love uh i don't know spending time with my pet uh i i like the little thing like i love having chai uh and in the afternoon under the sun you also like okay Oh, uh, I like, <laughs> <laughs> so I like these small little things in life which make you feel something. How That's what I like. Is that you are definitely in touch with your roots. I can see that. Uh, before we move on, <laughs> happy birthday belated to you and happy birthday to your grandfather. I mean, I'm Thank sure you. it must be so much fun being together with the family, right? Yeah. So, what's your future plan? What are you planning to like focus more on movies or television? So, I mean, we all have like these said. so that's great and i can't do that it's so hard to show that you are this and then live your life a certain way i want to be who i am and just live my life like of this course, so of course of course we do a lot of acting on screen yeah in real life <laughs> yeah i swear i'm telling you so uh, there are a lot of people who are who aspire to be actors who aspire to be models i know so many people in nairobi who want to go to bombay and try their luck any anything special you'd like to tell them something maybe they can because they'll be watching you they'll be hearing you i think it'll be great firstly that's great if so many people from my nairobi want to move to bombay to pursue acting i think they should definitely go for it uh, i would also like to tell them that you might hear a lot of things but it is not a very difficult bad industry that a lot of like you might have heard so many times yeah. from people that it's very yeah. difficult but the people that i have come across have been very helpful to me like when i moved to bombay i did not know he set goals for us but uh, at the same time i think it's very important to be open to every opportunity that comes your way so i'm not saying that i don't want to do tv or i don't want to do this or that 
if something comes my way that has a very good script or if i love my character even if it's a tv show or a film or even a music video i'd say yes to it so i mean i don't know i'm shooting for a web show right now uh because of the pandemic wo shoot bahut delay hota gaya so yeah. it's been a year now since i've been shooting for that and now it's about to end so i'm excited uh for it to end and so that it could be released and i could also do other projects so i don't know i mean let's see what the future has in store for me i'm sure it's going to be great i love the fact this is not even part of my question but what i'm hearing from you and seeing you you are so natural you're so organic so well done on that you're not trying to show like you're somebody else you're just yourself but when i go for an audition uh, say for an ad udhar hi uh, after my audition like a few people would be like oh you know what your look is fitting into this other audition that's happening two blocks away so we are forwarding you the details and just go there once also so uh, which was very sweet of them because they did not even know me so i mean for them to help me was a very big thing for me so that is how uh, i formed my own uh, contacts and i would also suggest them there's so many agencies now in bombay for people who are just starting out that is also very helpful because initially when you don't know um, a lot of people around you these agencies tell you where the good auditions are happening they connect you with uh, good directors so i would also suggest that they could join an agency to begin with